everybody. Um, it's really lovely to be with you all again today. As you know now, my name is Michelle Major. I'm founder of the Sunshine Project. And I live up on the north coast of Northern Ireland. Um, these videos are brought to you in collaboration with Mid and East Antrim Agewell Partnership as part of their Safe Social Club project. So it's really lovely to be with you all again today for our third video. Can you believe we're on our third one already? My goodness, excuse me. <clears throat> so as you know, every, every on every video, we've been layering up um, different exercises in terms of our breathing and our laughter um, and relaxation. And I don't want to repeat everything that I repeated in week one about all the benefits, but as I'm sure you're feeling, there is huge benefits to breathing um, more consciously and laughing more and relaxing. So today we're going to introduce another layer and the layer we're going to introduce today is a little bit of touch. Um, touch is really important because when we experience touch um, as babies, if we go way, way back to when we were babies, we wouldn't have survived without touch. So touch is a huge part of our evolution and um, yeah, it's, it's everything. So when we are babies and we experience touch, it helps regulate our heart rate. It helps reduce the stress hormone cortisol. And it is hugely um, nurturing for babies, but not just for babies, but for adults too. So even though we are big people now, we still need touch. Um, touch is very soothing and settling for the body, even still. Um, it still has those benefits that it brought for us as babies, as adults. It releases a lovely hormone. And as you know, I love talking about all the different chemicals in our body. And it releases a hormone called oxytocin. And oxytocin is used, um, not used, that's perhaps the wrong word, um, is released when we experience touch. If we're not getting enough touch from other human connections, then we can integrate some compassionate, gentle and um, kind um, touch into our own lives. So we're going to do that today. And it's, it's a very, very simple yet powerful um, exercise for settling the body, especially if you're feeling um, anxious or concerned or worried um, or sad, um, it can be very soothing and very nurturing and very regulating for the nervous system. So we talked a little bit about that on week one, about how when we feel really stressed, we can go into a fight or flight response. And what touch does, it helps that parasympathetic nervous system, that rest and digest um, part of our nervous system, which helps us feel more settled. But it gives us a sense of belonging, a sense of connection, a sense of emotional warmth and trust. So we're going to bring in some of um, some touch, some of the touch exercises today. And with that, I think we'll, we'll, we'll make a start. <laughs> And um, we'll make a start just as we always do, like just coming into the here and now. And we're going to do um, a little exercise that we do at the start of every session, which is so important. And I would invite you to perhaps practice this on a regular basis throughout your day. And just notice as you practice this, how your body responds. So how notice which one you prefer and and what how do you know within your own body or system that it feels settled and that it feels more at ease so first of all i'm going to invite you to take your eyes away from the screen and just take a moment to connect in with 
the surface that your body is sitting or resting on just now. And as you do that, just notice the parts of your body that are in contact with that surface. So for me, because I'm seated and my feet are touching the ground, and then my back, my sit bones and my thighs are touching the chair. <clears throat> and if you can, just roll your shoulders, allowing them to drop. And then just take a moment just to check out your space. Take a moment just to look around your room, noticing what you can see. And as you notice what you can see, just notice how your body is breathing as well. And then notice what you can hear. What sounds can you hear within your room or outside of your room? And as you notice the sounds, notice your breath and how you're breathing. And then when you're ready, you can take your eyes back onto the screen. <clears throat> So I'm curious to know which of those three did you find most settling? Was it noticing the contact between your body and the surface? Perhaps it was noticing what you could see in your environment, or maybe it was the sounds that you could hear. And just know that some days, it might be sounds that you find most settling and then another day it might be um, what you can see. But it's always good to notice which one on that particular day is the most settling. So let's get a start on our lovely breathing, although we have started already. So we're going to introduce a new breathing exercise today. So today is all about touch. So we're gonna bring in some touch into our breathing and we're gonna use our hand for this exercise. And we're gonna use the finger of our opposite hand to trace along this hand, okay? We're gonna use our eyes to notice what we can see and then our finger to trace uh, along our hand. And as we move up the thumb or finger, we breathe in. And when we come to the top, we pause and then we breathe out, okay? So it's an extension to the stages of a complete breath that we have, um, we started to look at in week one. And then we developed that in the second video whereby we brought in our, our, our counting with the stages. So we breathed in for four, paused for two, breathed out for four and paused before the next inhalation. Okay, I'm gonna talk you through it until we get to here and then we're gonna take a little rest for, for a moment. And then as we work our way back, I'm gonna allow you to do that at your own pace. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so just um, have, have your hands or your fingers like that on your hand. So they're at a nice distance between each other. We're gonna start here and I would invite you to watch your finger as it moves up. So we breathe in on the movement up, nice and slowly. And then we pause at the top before breathing out. And we breathe in. And then we pause and breathe out. Breathing in. Pause and breathing out. Breathing in. Pause and breathing out. 
breathe in. Pause and breathe out. Lovely. I'd like to just shake that out, just shake out your hands after that. Lovely. And then we're going to do it another time. This time I'm going to be quiet and allow you to go at your own pace. Okay, so let's go. Lovely. Hope you enjoyed that little um, breathing exercise today. And let's just congratulate ourselves. Let's do our very good, very good, yay. Very good, very good, yay. Excellent, excellent. So that nicely brings us on to um, the next part of our session today which is our lovely laughter session. So as you know, laughter boosts our mood, it releases endorphins, it makes us feel really, really good, it gives us pain relief. It even makes us look younger, apparently. <laughs> so they say. Um, and the science behind that is because it when we laugh, it brings more blood flow to the face. So it gives us that nice flushed um, look and it plumps up our skin. So there you go. There's the fact for today. Laugh. <laughs> laugh away our um, laugh away our age. Eh? Um, <laughs> so we're going to do our laughter. Now, and we're going to do what we always do. We're going to start off with greeting and then remember our clap and chants. Do you remember them? So we've got our very good, very good, yay. Very good, very good, yay. And then we have our ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. And this week we're going to al al alternate. Is that right? Alternate, yes. We're going to use the, our balloon breathing this week again, which we used on our first video. Because touch is our theme for today, we're going to use balloon breathing. So we take our hands together and rub our hands together. And then we use our imaginary balloon and we breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. Lovely. Okay, so pardon me, we're going to start off with, as we always do, with greeting laughter. So greeting laughter is where we wave and we smile and laugh. rub our hands together, hold our imaginary balloon and let's breathe in, it gets bigger, breathe out, breathe in and breathe out, lovely, lovely. The next one I thought would be fun to do today is to explore the different laughter sounds in our body, so we're going to bring in some some touch to this as well. So we're going to take our hands and we're going to um, put our hands in our tummy. Okay, so can you feel your tummy? And the laughter sound from our tummy 
is a little bit like Santa Claus and it is a ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. So I'm going to invite you to join me to do the ho, 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 ho. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> and then we're going to move up to our heart. So I want you to put your two hands on your chest. You maybe take a moment to feel the beating of your heart. I'm a little bit too far up. <laughs> I can feel the beating of my heart. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, so the laughter sound from our chest and heart is a ha 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 ha. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. And as you say the laughter sound, ha 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 ha, I want you just to notice the vibration in your chest and notice the sensation that you can feel in your hands. Okay, so let's do that again. <laughs> and then we're going to move to our sides of our head here and here. And this is our temples. And this laughter sign is, I love this one because it's so silly. This one is a tee hee 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 hee. <laughs> tee hee 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 hee. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what if all you did at that was laugh at me <laughs> being an agent well then that's good enough <laughs> oh goodness so let's do our very good very good yay just hands very good very good yay Brilliant. <laughs> oh, it feels good to laugh. It feels good to laugh. Okay, so we're going to do another laughter exercise. This time it's called wipe on, wipe off laughter. So for this one, when we wipe on the laughter, we laugh, a nice hearty big laugh. And then when we wipe it off, we have to have a very safe. Are we? Are we? Are we going to be able to do this? So uh, let's say are very serious. Maybe even cross faces. Can you do one? Okay. <laughs> let's give it a go. So wipe on. <laughs> When you try to be serious, it can be really tricky, can't it? <laughs> I guess that's when sometimes, you know, when you're in a situation and, and it's really not the right time to laugh and you find something funny and you try not to laugh. And the more, the more you try not to laugh, the funnier whatever it is, is. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do our ho ho ha 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 ho ho ha 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 ho ho ha 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 <laughs> lovely let's rub our hands together let's hold our imaginary balloon let's breathe in it gets bigger breathe out breathing in I'm breathing out. Lovely. So our next laughter exercise we're going to do is called Just Laugh. 
And just laugh is where we're just going to laugh for no reason at absolutely nothing. <laughs> Sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> so remember, the body doesn't know the difference between a fake laugh and a real laugh. We get all the same lovely benefits, whether we fake the laughter or whether it's real. So I invite you to join me, whether it's a fake laugh or if it's a real laugh, even if it's just a smile, all of those things send a very important signal to your brain and our bodies about our happiness. So will we give it a go? So for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in through our nose. We're going to hold our breath. And then on the out breath, we're going to laugh. Okay, it can be a loud laugh, it can be a tiny laugh, it can be whatever your body feels like doing today. There's no pressure on this. There's no right or wrong way to laugh. It's um, just whatever, whatever flows from you in this moment. <laughs> okay, let's do this together. Yeah, so let's breathe in. Hold it and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and again, let's breathe in. Hold it. And laugh. And let's do this one more time, breathing in. Hold it and laugh. <laughs> ah. um, there's a lovely sense of release and letting go when we laugh. So, We're going to close with a lovely um, laughter exercise, which is called hugging laughter. And again, just staying on the theme this week of touch. So hugging laughter is where we give ourselves a hug. You know, we can just give ourselves a nice hug. So wrap your arms around yourself in whichever way feels comfortable for you. And we're going to just give our bodies a nice, gentle rocking motion from side to side. And as we do that, we are just going to do a nice little laugh. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. And that was very good, very good, yay. Very good, very good, yay. Lovely. So I hope you're feeling good. Hope you're feeling uplifted in today's session. Hope you enjoyed um, our breathing and our laughter. Um, we're now going to do our lovely relaxation. And for the relaxation this week, I, we're going to bring in touch because that's the theme for this week. So I'm going to invite you to put one hand on your chest and one hand on your tummy. I'll just move my video down so you can see. One hand on your chest and one hand on your tummy. Okay. And you can sit up or lie down for this. It's just whatever is really comfortable for you. And I'm going to invite you to close your eyes for this, if that's okay. <sighs> Lovely. I'm just taking a moment to notice how your body is breathing. And you might have noticed a subtle change in your breath when we started our session today. You may have noticed that your breath has become a little slower, a little deeper, perhaps even longer. Maybe you don't notice any difference, and that's okay too. 
So just notice how your body is breathing and we're not trying to change your breath in any way in this moment, we're just noticing. And as you notice your breath, just become aware of your body. Becoming aware of your body in contact with the surface underneath it. Whether that's whether you're sitting or whether you're lying down, just notice the contact. And if you can, invite your body to really sink into that surface. So just really allowing your body to release tension, to let go, and to really relax and feel the complete support of whatever surface is underneath your body right now. And just noticing your breath again. As you settle into this relaxation, noticing how you're breathing. Hmm. And then noticing your hands in contact with your body. Noticing your hands in contact with your tummy and your chest. And as you notice that contact, just notice what type of pressure feels good for your body. Perhaps it's a light touch. Perhaps you would like to put a little bit more pressure. So just noticing what feels good and what doesn't. And just know that it's okay to change the pressure. It's okay to change your hands and move them into a different position. This is all about comfort, finding what is the most comfortable position for you to sit in, to lie in, to be with. And as you notice the contact between your hands and your body, just notice the warmth. Notice the warmth between your hands and your body. Noticing that lovely emotional warmth in your heart. And just breathing in now some love and kindness for yourself. Breathing in some compassion for yourself and your body. And noticing how you're breathing in and out. Noticing the beautiful calming rhythm of your breath. And as you notice that beautiful calming rhythm of your breath, noticing the rhythm moving through your body. So noticing the rise and fall of your tummy and chest as you breathe in and as you breathe out. And as you send yourself some love and kindness, we can just send that out to our friends and family, anyone else that perhaps needs a little bit of tenderness and compassion in their life right now. And sometimes it feels easier to send it out to others as it does to receive it for ourselves. So as we receive it for ourselves, we send it out to others. So I'm just noticing that when you focus on love and kindness and compassion, noticing the emotional warmth within your body. You might even notice that perhaps the temperature in your hands has changed. You might have noticed they've got a little bit warmer. So just noticing. And now just as we awaken our mind and body, and we do this by deepening our awakening breath. 
wiggling our toes and wiggling our fingers, bringing our hands together, rubbing our hands together, and then taking a moment to just tap the top of our head. So again, bringing in some gentle touch. We're gonna tap the top of our head, the sides of our head, and the back of our head. Nice gentle touch. And we're just tapping in peace and calmness. I feel peaceful and I feel calm. And then just putting the hands in front of the face, but not touching the face. And just gently opening your eyes behind your hands. And just taking a moment to come back into your space. You might even like to stretch your body a little after that. That's okay. So just taking a moment to open your eyes, come back into the room, come back into your space and um, come back onto the screen. I hope you enjoyed that session today. Um, our theme was uh, touch today and interestingly kindness, uh, which we brought into our last um, exercise of today, our relaxation. Kindness to ourselves and kindness to other people also releases that lovely hormone called oxytocin. Um, so, Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for participating. And I wish you a great day and perhaps bring some of the practice, what we did today, into the rest of your day um, as well and share that with others. Take care. And I'll see you very soon for our final, fourth and final um, video in this series. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.